What all natural products do I use? Let's talk about it. Hey health heroes, welcome back to Adam Immune, the channel all about helping you improve your autoimmune health naturally. Today I wanted to answer a question from a subscriber. This is from Ann Malia. Not to sound like a weirdo, but do you use gluten-free personal items like shampoos, etc.? I know some are concerned over stuff like that, and right now I just can't get to that level. Well, I don't blame you, Ann. Uh, I struggled with this for a long time. Um, I I've looked through a lot of different products and I've had a lot of failures, so I, I think I can help you guys out with this. And yes, this will be equally um, helpful to women as it is to men. First I want to start off by saying, look at this, can you see these little red marks? Um, they look like little rashes. Um, now I get that every time when I use a regular shaver, okay? Now this is from Dollar Shave Club. I did not subscribe, but um, one of my, I think my brother gave me a few packages and they come with a bunch of shavers. so. Um, when I just kind of line up my uh, short little beard here, yes, I did trim it up. Um, I get these little rash lines if I if I go in the wrong direction or whatever. Um, I have to be very very careful because I have very sensitive skin, as some of you know, or if some of you remember from my, some of my videos, uh, I mentioned I have HS. I was stage three hydrogenitis suprativa, and uh, that was my worst autoimmune uh, disease. But it's in remission now, thank God. And um, so I do have very sensitive skin. That is why I use a regular buzzer okay so I just go on the shortest level and I go up here and obviously my head I used to shave my head too but it just every time I would nick my head or I, I would just ha I would just have rashes I would break out these little bumps and and that's just awful I know a lot of women ha struggle with that too um, you have to shave your well you don't have to but you a lot of women choose to shave their legs and all the things but you know I would I would say now <laughs> Now, this is just my opinion, of course. Do what you want. But I think all natural is probably the best way to go most of the time. Um, if a guy likes you, he's, he's not going to care anyway. But I think as close as we can go to nature, it's probably best, right? Now, that doesn't mean you can't trim up or whatever with a buzzer. Or, you know, I have a lot of different... Um, uh, measurements to put on top of this attachments to just kind of uh, you know whatever but you know do it do whatever you think is best there again you're gonna know what works best for your skin it depends on your level of sensitivity as well and this is probably gonna last like 24 hours um, that redness it, it'll go away though let's go to mouth care because this is probably one of the most important things I've spent a lot of time um, looking for different products that I could use that wouldn't trigger me um, I used to get a lot of mouth sores. Um, this, obviously, that was in the before time before um, I switched the AIP diet. So obviously, if, if you're new to this channel, um, autoimmune payload, that's what we do here. That's what I use to put all my autoimmune disorders, diseases into remission, all of them. I started out by using this product, and this is full because I only use it like twice. Um, this is called Carbon Noir. Noir. So this is a good natural um, toothpaste to use. The problem is, it is not strong enough. I want to have good fresh breath, at least for the freeze first few hours of the day before I eat or or whatever right I need something that can hold up now I will say this came with a really cool toothbrush all black but it was it's one of those soft ones and I don't like soft toothbrush I like a medium brush it just it just does better it just you know fights uh, plaque better but anyway We'll, uh, we'll get into more of that in a minute, but this was a good, uh, it might actually work for whitening teeth, but I don't really know because um, I didn't stick with it. I, I think I will start using it on occasion just to see if it can whiten, but I don't really have yellowing teeth really anyway. But what I do know is this is a poor product if you're using it just as a toothpaste. Oh. I did start an Amazon uh, Adam Immune shop, so it is connected to Amazon. It's in the description below. Uh, I might even post a top comment. I'll pin a comment where you can find it easily um, down in the comments below. Um, I wanted to suggest and recommend different products that I use and that I think will be good for you guys. Now, not only will I put uh, hygiene products in there, I've already made this. I've got hygiene products um, tab. I've got a tab for AIP food, and I've got a tab for uh, supplements, uh, some of which I use, all of which I recommend. Um, um, now, I try to find the cheapest product possible. So if you already have an Amazon account, it's automatically connected and you don't have to go and make a new email address and account. You can just click on it, buy it, easy, right? Add it to your... Uh Add it to your cart. Uh, all right, let's move on uh, to the toothpaste that is my absolute favorite, Xyli White. This is the box that it came in. Um, it's, it's a fairly big bottle. I think this was like... 
eight eight dollars and something this is 6.4 ounces so it's it's fairly big for a toothpaste this is fluoride free sls free uh, gluten free paraben free reduces plaque whitens and fresh and has a fresh taste and i would definitely agree with that this is my favorite one that i have tried from xyli xyli white um, now you're probably thinking what does xyli mean uh, that is from xylitol now i know you're thinking oh xylitol Technically, it is paleo, even though I don't suggest people eat it at all because it's one of those fake sugars. Um, now, the reason I do recommend this is because um, xylitol is, it's kind of like a Trojan horse, right? So sugar or bacteria in your mouth will think it's sugar. Um, and bacteria feeds on sugar and it will feed on xylitol thinking it's a sugar and it, it has no way of digesting it right it because it's it's not really sugar so it tricks it and then it ends up dying um, so creating less plaque it does have a very safe ingredient list but make sure you don't eat it um, maybe don't use an excess of it but it, like any toothpaste be careful but I will say, as far as the ones that I've tried, this is one of the safest, and I, I do highly recommend you try this, and it is very, very strong. It is just as strong as any other toothpaste that I've used on uh, the regular market, the standard American market, I guess you could say. I do also like another brand of toothpaste. Uh, this one's called the Green Beaver Company. Um, it's also gluten-free, fluoride-free, of course. Um, this is a really good one. Now, it's not as going to be as strong as the mint. This is a green apple, and I, I just kind of like the flat. I see I'm thinking, yeah, I, I wanted something a little more mild. Now, I will use this at night. I'll use this one, uh, the other one, the Xyli White Refreshment, at, in the morning, and then I will use this one at night. Or I'll even use this on the weekend if I'm just kind of hanging out, chilling at my house, and I just don't want a strong, fresh, minty, uh, you know, I, I like mint when I'm going out and I'm going to be around people, so I know I'm, I'm good, right? I just want that in the back of my mind, like I don't have to worry about my breath. But I like the flavor of this. Obviously, you're not eating this, but yeah. This might be good for kids or teens or something like that. Um, but just just it's good to have a good backup right now along with toothpaste it's also important to use mouthwash right so uh, Xyla White fortunately has the same flavor of mouthwash refreshment it, it does have a really strong um, flavor or intensity almost like you know kind of like that numbness you get with mouthwash but it doesn't have the burn so it has all the good stuff without the burn which is not good for you right I was really happy to find this I think this is like 10 or 12 bucks it is very expensive but um, I think something like this is worth it and this is probably gonna last like three months so you know I I, I can do that I can afford that uh, now if I were to use a lot of this I'd probably try to find a cheaper brand and if you have a better brand let me know in the comments maybe I'll add it to the list it's also important to floss and I actually do that before I brush my teeth but I'll do it at least a few times a week um, this is good now I recommend using something like this that's um, more of a synthetic ingredient over a natural ingredient for one reason only um, some a lot of wood things like say toothpicks um, have chemicals on them or wax or they they've been treated with different solvents and anytime I have ever used a toothpick in my life I have always been triggered by it I've always had a flare and I, that was one of the hardest things to figure out I also have the same issue while using like wooden ladles and um, utensils or cooking uh, tools made out of wood that's why um, I do have a tab for kitchen tools uh, in my Amazon shop as well and it's all metal or nylon products and that is for that reason because uh, a lot of us are very sensitive to different wood treatments or the wood themselves right you know with certain allergies so it's just it's just important to be careful and again some trial and error may be necessary for deodorant this was a really tricky one to figure out um, now again because I have HS and I have um, I've healed up under my arms. Usually, it's uh, most people with HS have it under their arms. That was one of my worst areas. Um, so I'm very scarred up. So it's a very sensitive area for me. So I wanted to find something that wasn't really creamy. Now I, I will have some suggestions um, for a more cream-based thing that you can use on your underarms. There's a lot of actually different recommendations, but again, you'll have to use what works for you. Now I've decided to try this 100% natural Thai crystal deodorant stone. Now this sounds really foo-foo or whatever sounds kind of silly but all it is is mineral salts okay it's just salt basically um, Thai crystal deodorant stone is made from crystallized, crystallized natural mineral salts found in bauxite ore which naturally kill odor causing bacteria now there is um, a better container for this I bought this before the container was out but there's a container that looks more like a deodorant thing so it'd be easier to use this one's kind of a screw top kind of thing what you do with this I don't know how well you can see this but 
this is a it's very dry it's just salt basically and you wet it a little bit use it on your arms very thoroughly use a lot um, it's you're not even gonna really notice anything coming off um, but then you're gonna want to rinse it off afterward okay and then just kind of put it back in its thing um, I do notice that it works perfectly it doesn't leave a scent um, at the end of the day I don't I you know I've been testing it a lot a lot and I have never smelled anything it just smells like nothing under my arms which is really great now again I've lost you know a, a ridiculous amount of weight so that has changed if if I were still 350 pounds like I was in the before time I'm not sure this would be powerful enough to work the, the whole point of a deodorant is just to keep you from smelling it's not to keep you from sweating that would be an antiperspirant and I really really don't recommend any but anybody buy antiperspirants um, most of them on the market have um, aluminum in there and they just they block your pores and let's I mean we want to get the toxins out we want to we don't want to storm up or or cause rashes or anything like that or burn so just you know remember that we're human and we all sweat and we all need to release toxins from different areas in our body naturally and so we don't really want to block areas of our body we want to um, just keep them from smelling so killing the bacteria is probably the best way to do that I guess this kind of goes along with that again I used to be 350 pounds so I needed some strong um, body wash now this product uh, I'm embarrassed to say that I used to use Dawn dish soap uh, for as a body scrub. Again, my HS, I needed something that would cut through all that grease and oil and just get all the bacteria off. And I was more worried about um, being cleansed, clean than I was worried about um, harming my skin. Right now, this is this will dry out your skin a little bit, and I didn't mind that. Um, but it, it is a very hard, hardcore product. Things like this do have some carcinogenic properties that may cause cancer. So I did use this for, I really, this is really is embarrassing, but it's the truth. So I, I have to say it. I use this probably for like eight years without any issues at all. Um, now I use this before I was in remission and I use this after. So I can't say whether this had any negative effects or if it will long term, I don't know. But that's what I use and that's the truth. But um, I don't use that anymore. I use this product from Dr. Bronner's. Um, it's an 18 in 1 hemp citrus pure Castile soap. So I really recommend Castile soap. I don't care where you buy it from. I just happened to buy Dr. Bronner's. I thought that was um, a cost friendly um, company. It's also a very good company. They treat their employees very well. It's all eco friendly and um, I think that's very good as well. Um, certified fair trade, great ingredients. Um, and this is made with. Uh, coconut oil, which I really love, um, but this it doesn't act like coconut oil. It doesn't stay on your body like a lotion would. Um, I would say this does kind of. It feels like it dries out your skin instantly when you get out of the shower, uh, but without that actual dryness. I don't know how to say it exactly, but it does have a sort of dryness feel about it. So it doesn't like um, oil up your body. It doesn't have a creamy after effect um, on your skin, which is good. I do not want that at all. Um, so this is good. Now, this isn't just a good body scrub. Um, you can dilute this into a hand soap. You can even use this as a detergent. You can use this as a floor cleaner. You can use this on cleaning your fruits and vegetables. You can use this for just about anything. It's a good all natural cleaner for everything. So that's why I choose to use this. I have a big bottle. Um, I, you can buy a smaller bottle or you can even buy it in a gallon form. Um, I think it's like 60 bucks though. But this was, I think this was $16, which yes, it is pricey, but it will last a very long time. You have to, you, you only have to use a very, very small amount. Overall, I think citrus is a good way to go, especially if you want to use it as a detergent, which I do, and it works great. Um, another product that I use for detergent is borax now borax is just kind of a detergent booster um, a lot of people I've <laughs> this is kind of an interesting thing some people use this as a supplement because this is kind of an all-natural ingredient ingredient this is just made from sodium tetraborate which is a natural mineral found in nature um, so some people do uh, I heard there's groups devoted to just using borax um, as a supplement now I don't recommend that I did try that for a week but that was after I found remission so I, I really can't say if that helped me or hindered me at all I, I do have this in my Amazon shop below as well but I don't recommend you actually buy it from there I have it there just kind of as a reminder just go to Walmart it's like way cheaper at Walmart I used to use Tide Tide Pods um, I didn't always use Tide Pods I used to use the liquid but I I want to see what all the fuss was about you know everybody's going on about kids eating Tide Pods now as a as a meme and I thought it was really funny you know these aren't the regular ones they're not the regular flavor 
Yeah, it's not something I would eat. And I don't like that there's like plastic in there. Uh, I guess that gets in our water supply and that's not good either. I would go for the least harmful ingredient, you know, the all natural Dr. Bronner's instead of this. This has a lot of chemicals in there that I don't want this in or around my body at all. I don't even like touching it. It has like this sticky residue after I touch those pods. I don't, I don't, I don't like that at all. Um, now for a lotion, I do have some uh, recommendations again in there, but um, I think that one of the best things you could use is lanolin made from sheep's wool. Um, it's sort of a natural vitamin E supplement. I do recommend coconut oil. Um, you can find the, I believe it's called a fractionated version in the shop and it's it's basically just liquid coconut oil it's kind of like an MCT oil um, you can use that wherever um, and you can also make your own kind of you can add essential oils to that and then you can use it like a beard oil or whatever I do use a cologne um, but I don't use it on my skin. Uh, this is Curve for Men. This is the one that I have always used. This is not paleo friendly. This is not all natural. This is all chemical, which is why I'll just spray it on my clothes, just just a little bit, just to get that scent. Now, this I'm not recommending this at all, but I'm just letting people know what I use. There was a girl in school that gave that to me in middle school, and um, it just kind of stuck. I always just really liked it, so um, it was a Christmas present. Anyway, uh, so that's the products that I use and that I recommend most of these. And you'll be able to check most of these out in the shops below. And yeah, I hope this helps you out. I hope this answers the question. And if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. It would also help me out if you subscribe. It's just a little red button right down there. You, uh, It doesn't take much effort. Click the little notification bell as well because then you'll see the videos as soon as they drop. Um, if you don't do that, YouTube won't, won't show it to you right away. And that would be really, really cool for me. So thanks for watching. See you next time.